feels like forever since I filmed a video. It's Wednesday of my dark week, so you'll be seeing this on Sunday or Monday. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I decided to go dark, where the channel is going to go from here on out, and I want to talk about the virtue of humility. So this all started because I was doing an examination of conscience in order to go to confession. And the, the, the um, sin, the vice of pride, which is like the devil's main tool to get at you know, everybody, um, kept coming up. And when you have a YouTube channel, it's very easy to fall into the sin of pride, unfortunately. You're having people, you know, praise you, tell you you're doing, you're doing a good job, you know, there's numbers to look at, um, there's other YouTubers to watch to kind of get an idea of, you know, what, what's a successful video. So YouTube just kind of like feeds that pride and you have to be very, very diligent to stay humble. And hum humility is not just, you know, a word, but it's really like your heart, it's your actions, it's the fact that you understand that God has done everything and you have done nothing. You are just a creature of God. And it's beautiful, but I've never really been taught this and now I have this channel. So anyway, so I go to confession and while I'm waiting, I decide that my channel needs a little bit of tweaking. That um, I was trying to kind of almost like keep up with the YouTube Joneses. I'm just being super honest here. Um, in, a, in a way that I don't actually do in like my physical life. In that same way, I wanted to go dark because I wanted to kind of just pray and step back from social media and YouTube and the schedules of it all and kind of the headspace of it all and just see what the Holy Spirit said. And pretty much what I'm hearing is that I need to do more Catholic content everything has to be in Catholicism. So I think I want to move more into that space with my channel um, and less of the lifestyle stuff that I've kind of been gravitating towards, which I love lifestyle stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to talk to you guys about this litany of humility because this thing has changed my life. And I will see if I can find the original like article I found that listed this as a one, one of the things to prepare for. And I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. It looks like this. You can get it on EWTN under devotions and I will totally link it below. And I like, it's mine's already like all folded up and stuff. But it starts out, it says, Oh Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. Then it goes into a whole list of like, I'm guessing 12 to 15, I can't, I didn't count, um, things. And the answer is deliver me Jesus. So I'm just going to pull out things. From the desire of being praised, deliver me Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From, okay, so it has some desires, then it has fears. I love these because you guys, as Catholics, we are not supposed to fear. And I have fears. I've been trying to be a lector for like years and years and years, and I keep wimping out. I finally signed up, and now I still have to fill out the form, like, because it scares me to like get up in front of everybody. But, but, listen to this. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. The article I read was amazing. It talked about how we almost need to like welcome moments of humiliation because that brings us closer to God and closer to this virtue of humility because it's just not about us and it's not, we shouldn't run away from, I've been running my whole life away from situations where I thought I could humiliate myself and the risks I would have taken had I not worried about humiliating myself my life would be different. Um, from the fear of being forgotten, from the fear of being um, ridiculed. Then, there's a second part to it, it says, and the answer to this question is, Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. And it starts out with, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. Um, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. And then the last one is that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the desire, grant me the grace to desire it. So, it's an amazing litany. It's it's like changed my life. Um, it's just the virtues are so powerful. The peace of mind book that I am trying to get through because I told you guys I was gonna get through it. 
And of course, then we decided to buy a car and it's been like 48 hours marathon. I'm exhausted. Um, and I'm finally like recovering today. So I'm gonna try to like sit down for an hour and read that book. But it goes through virtues. Like it's talked about uh, fortitude and it talked about, I'm not sure humility, faith? I'm not sure so far, but it's good. It's so good. I just wanna say that um, I love Dr. I love Dr. Laura, but I listened to Dr. Laura during a lot of my formative years, and I know I've suggested you guys the books, and I think the books are great. But when you listen to her, you have to be very careful. <laughs> her tagline is in my never to be humble opinion, and I always thought that that shows strength that she stood behind. She what she means is that she really stands behind her convictions, and like I am super convicted. No one could ever, ever convince me that ending a life unnaturally was ever okay. So there are definitely, that is my, in my, in her eyes, she would say in my never to be humble opinion. But I love the idea of changing it to in my humble opinion, because who am I, right? I am just this tiny little creature that God has put on this earth to do, hopefully, you know, work for him to become as you know a saint if possible, to raise other little saints, to pull my husband along to be a saint, and anyone else I can find in the world who wants to come along for the saint ride, come on and join me. You guys, leave your comments down below. I'd love to know like, if you have studied virtues, if you have had a moment like this in your life where you just kind of had this aha moment that like you're realizing that advice was kind of getting in there. Um, I don't ever like consider myself a prideful person, but oh gosh, one of the things in here is, this is good, it says, from the desire of being consulted, deliver me Jesus. That was a big one for me because I love to be consulted, I love people to ask my opinion, I mean, what Laura likes, hello, like, um, I just, I was like, oh, I love giving advice. And I love Dr. Laura, and that's what she does. She gives advice all day. I love listening to Pat Madrid and all the other Catholic guys. And so going forward, I don't know if I'm gonna do videos once a week and kind of maintain this more purified momentum or if I'm gonna go back up to two, two weeks. So I might start with just one a week. So um, with that said, have a blessed, blessed week. I will be on social media. I will be engaging. I'll probably be posting on Instagram once a day at least. And um, I might do a couple live videos that are fun but I don't know what I talk about, but they're like nerve wracking. But again, if I'm not afraid of being humiliated, then what am I, what's there to lose? Cause I say random things when I'm just sitting here. So um, anyway, this is Laura from What Laura Likes. In my always humble opinion, <laughs> have a blessed day. Bye guys.